This is a short subject called vagina fears. Some um, men that I've come across in life seem to wonder if their prick's big enough or their penis is big enough for the woman that would satisfy her. Now, if you haven't had sex or made love with her, you don't know. That's the uncertainty because some women can be, I don't know if you can see, that small. And some women can be, I don't know if you can, they can be pretty big. Now, considering that if I use my thumb as an example, if they're that small and you've got a prick that big, you're right, basically you're feeling something. Now, if she's larger and you've got a, a prick as big as that, You'll have to do some work or she'll have to tighten her muscles to um, clamp around your penis. Now, that's my thumb, so don't get it excited about it. Now, um, working out how much size you've got, if you've got, uh, let's see, if you've got one that long or you've got one half the size, it's not really what matters. Now, getting over your vagina fears, men, is not something that's major. As long as you get to the point where you um, both can share lovemaking together. A lot of people wait until they're married to find out that sometimes a man might have a huge one. He might have a big thickness about that big, right, compared Oh, shit, how do you work this out? And so you might have a big, thick thing like that. I don't know. Something like that. Where she may have a small vagina like that. Now, the main thing is, if that's the case, lubricant. A bit of time, because as you're working through the vagina entry, you'll be rubbing the head of your penis in and out slowly to be able to get in. Now, that will actually help dilate her vagina in most cases, where, you know, if she's that tall, small, and you're, say, that thick, you'll have to slowly work in to dilate her vagina. That'll actually, she'll relax, and she can take the size. Usually, they do have babies which are bigger, but um, that sort of comes through another narrow passage. But that gives you an idea of not worrying too much about that versus that. Now, if you get married and they've got vagina problems, well, you know, that's going to be a problem. So sometimes it's better to test that you both test out that you're sexually compatible before you're married. Because a lot of the times, a lot of couples are really great friends they get along very well, but sexually they're incompatible. Now, sometimes you've got to get teach her, or she's got to learn how to masturbate and get herself off with you there or not. With your help, she'll be able to masturbate with you inside her or having sexual positions. She'll um, learn to relax and enjoy the, the experience. Now, some women also have vagina fears, that actually their vagina's too small for men's penises. Now, unfortunately, some have gone into lesbianism because they've got a fear that the man may hurt their vagina because they've never experienced something that could actually go in and they think it might hurt them or split them. Well, sometimes they may be pretty tight and the muscles are pretty tight and you're trying to go in and you can't get in because the muscles are too bloody tight. That's acceptable. But having vagina fears, even with women, they can worry about the size of a man's penis that it may either be too big, right, or too small for their um, vagina cavity. Now, if that's the case, sometimes you may not be sexually compatible because there's a difference between 
if you're a bit thicker and a bit, bit wider, you can handle it a bit more. Um, if they, you know, sometimes you might be that thick, more thicker, where you can enter into the vagina and you both feel pleasure. Or it may be too small. If that's the case, sometimes you're not sexually compatible. That's all it comes down to in um, making love, having sex, enjoying intercourse, whatever um, factor you want to call it by. But, some, you know, just understand that sometimes that you can be sexually incompatible for the size or shape of each other's sexual organs. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something on Men's Help TV.